It's been a while since I posted a diamond hunt on his channel. I have to say I'm pretty happy with the newest reserve that has been added to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Silver Ridge Peaks was released on console last week and it's been a very nice addition to say the least. For those of you that have been following me, you know that I started over at level 1. I recently wrapped up all the story missions in Leighton Lake and Silver Ridge Peaks is the very next reserve I jumped into next. It's actually a nice transition if you're a newer player and you can use the same weapon loadout from Leighton Lakes. I've made it up to level 18 after completing the story missions in Silver Ridge Peaks which surprisingly don't have any hunting objectives. It's definitely a different spin to the old story missions. It was during one of the last missions that I came across a nice herd of mountain goats. Here's the area on the map where it's been confirmed as one of the best areas for mountain goats in Silver Ridge Peaks. I used the 30 odd 6 rifle for this hunt. Mountain goats are active all day in this area. Their drink time is 9am to 11.30 and then again in the early evening. Feed time is staggered from 11 to 1.30pm, early afternoon and even midnight to 3.30 in the morning. Rest time is mixed in between. I started on some of the herds that I came across, taking down any level 4 goats that I saw. Doing so, there's a chance they'll respawn as a level 5. As I got to the watchtower over at the Sun Sisters location, I came across a small group of female goats that appeared to be on their way to a need zone. As I followed them, I looked ahead. I could see they were heading to a feed zone or responding to the mating calls of some mountain goats in the area. And that's when I spotted him. Level 5 mountain goat with a massive set of horns. The setup was perfect. Wind direction was good. I was at the top of a hill looking down at this herd. I could focus on lining up the perfect shot. Having taken the shot, I was a little nervous as the impact animation, wounding the animal seems to be a little off. After doing some research, I see this is a current known issue and something that is being worked on. In the end, the goat didn't get too far even though my shot placement was a little high. I did manage to get one of the lungs. This diamond scored a massive 112.5, very impressive and I'm very happy with this hunt. I got rid of my old trophy lodges and decided to start a new one just for this channel because I plan on playing the game now with a little more frequency. In case you are wondering what happens when you start over at level 1, you do in fact get to keep all your trophies and they do carry over to your new character. But this new lodge will be dedicated to all hunts captured on video. So if I don't get it on video, it's not going to be added, plain and simple. As you can see, we are starting off with just some diamond rabbits from episode 2, and the mallards from episode 3 from the time that we spent on Leighton Lakes. You'll notice that the level 5 blacktail from episode 1 did not make the diamond cut since it only scored a gold. But now here's our newest addition. I have the Silver Ridge Peaks and Leighton Lakes maps opened up, so I hope to add some more trophies from there while we work on opening up the other reserves. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel today so that you never miss a video. As always, thank you for your support and see you next time.